Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over my new deep cycle batteries from Renogy. Super excited to get these installed and do my whole electrical system. Uh, but batteries are a huge thing. I want to run lights, I want to run a fan. Right now I am using a Milwaukee uh, battery that I got a uh, inverter that takes the 18 volts down to 12 volts and I just wired that in to run my lights um, but I, I need more battery. Um, I want to get a uh, fridge freezer, apartment fridge freezer, just a really small one um, and then I have a generator and eventually solar panels. So getting a battery is one of the, the first steps in what you want to do. This battery here is from Renogy. It's a brand new one they just launched. It's the Deep Cycle Core Lithium Ion Battery. The reason I went with Renogy overall was uh, quality for price. I know that Renogy is not one of the top batteries on the market. I know that they have poor customer service. Um, however, there's companies like local to me in BC, there's Canbat, uh, great battery company, great customer service. I talked to them. Um, I spoke to uh, another YouTuber, you guys should all know him, Joel Tremblay. Uh, he's in Eastern Canada and he highly suggested the Canbat battery. Um, I looked over it all, you know, like I said, fantastic battery, but the price. Uh, for me, this trailer is costing a lot already, as it is all of you guys out there. Um, paying $2,000 plus for one of the Canbat 200 amp hour batteries is just way out of my budget. Um, I decided for my trailer after doing all my calculations that I would need two 200 amp hour batteries. So if I went with the Canbat ones or even like Battleborn, I'm looking close to four to five thousand dollars just for two batteries. Uh, these Renogy ones were on sale. Uh, I got this battery for nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, so a thousand bucks, and I and I got two. So uh, for the price of two batteries for Renogy, um, I could have only bought one battery from either either Battleborn or Canbat. Um, or any of those other, you know, really highly ranked companies. The reason that I didn't go with something a little bit lower, a little bit cheaper end, uh, again, like uh, Power Queen, um, there's some other, other batteries out there. Um, they just don't have enough history. And I know that Renogy also doesn't have the greatest hitch history, but they have sold a lot. You know, I see a lot of guys out there with the Renogy batteries, the Renogy systems, solar panels. Yes, every company has a failure rate, but um, from what I've seen and the price range, I decided to go with Renogy. The reason I went with this Renogy, obviously brand new, just came out. It's got a 10 year lifespan and 5,000 cycles. 5,000 cycles is probably more than I'll ever need. It does have a five year warranty on materials uh, versus the lithium ion with Bluetooth. I believe it has a three year warranty. Don't hold me to that. I think the warranties are slightly different. It's got the more life cycles. Overall, for the price, I just felt like this was a better battery. Yes, it's a new one. It could have its flaws, but I'm willing to take that risk. And yes, their customer service sucks. It, it really does. I, uh, I ordered these on a Friday, and it did say, you know, five to seven business days. So I hadn't seen anything the following Friday. I decided to reach out to Ranergy. Ranergy said they couldn't see anything on their end. And obviously, this is shipping in Canada. So I wasn't sure where it was coming from. I was guessing Ontario, so it had to cross Canada. Uh, they actually told me that they weren't sure where it was. Uh, when I looked up the tracking number, there's no information. They said it shipped pure later. Couldn't find anything. So I waited, and all of a sudden, my batteries were there. I was, I was in shock. Uh, I noticed that when I went back to the website, they said they weren't shipping until August 15th. So I was expecting that they were on back order and that they would come at the end of August. Uh, but lucky, luckily enough, uh, they came to my door. Renogy still hasn't responded to me about where my batteries are, so they don't have a clue what's going on with their system. But either way, I got my batteries. Um, I can I can put my system together. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into the batteries. So everything that comes in the box, this is a, a brand new one. Uh, this is how it got shipped to me. You can see the shipping was really well. Both batteries looked exactly two straps. Uh, on the inside there's a piece of foam in the top and then it looks like it's double layered of cardboard in the bottom. Um, you can see it's in great shape. So Pure Leader did a fantastic job. Way to go Pure Leader. Um, inside the box you get a battery, the 200 amp deep cycle battery. You get a Renogy user manual. You get 
longer lugs. Uh, I just want to say these aren't much longer. They're a little bit longer, but not a, by a whole lot. But, you know, it's good to get them. You get a warranty card. Make sure you register. Get your warranty. That way it's all re registered and online. Uh, you get positive and negative cable covers. You guys can see those. You get Renogy empowered stickers. I'll we'll have to find somewhere to put those. So that is everything that comes in the box. Just to give you guys a quick overview, because I read the sizes on the battery. I didn't really think much of it. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, but overall the size, nine and a half inches wide. I would say eight and three quarter inches to the top and then nine to the top of the lugs. And then the length is 19 and a half. If you're including the straps, there's a bracket here for the straps. See that there's a little bracket that comes out. You're at about 20 and a half, so it's not a small battery. Uh, I was wondering with the new battery what it would read on the multimeter, so we got it set at 12 volt, brand new battery, negative, positive, and you guys can see it's reading 13.17, brand new battery out of the box. So another question I'm sure you guys are going to ask, why didn't you go with the lithium with the built-in Bluetooth or why didn't you go with the, the self-heating batteries because you live in Canada? So the self-heating batteries, they don't have the 200 amp hour, Renogy doesn't have the 200 amp hour self-heating batteries. So I figured after watching YouTube videos and reading about these, these batteries give off heat and even though you get below zero, you can still use the power, you just can't charge. Um, and this built in with the BMS system, it will not allow you to charge below zero degrees. Most of the time when I'm camping, it's, it's warm in the trailer, there's body heat. You guys saw the video, we fully insulated the trailer. And I can take charge and run the heater in here, which I'll eventually have. And that will heat up the trailer enough that I'll be able to charge these but the internal BMS will not allow it to take charge if it's below zero. Uh, so that's again a positive to these batteries, but you can take charge down to negative 20 and that's Celsius. Uh, like I said, I didn't go with the Bluetooth model. The reason I didn't do that is that battery costs a lot more. Uh, this one had a better warranty, better life cycles. So instead I went with the Renogy battery monitor. Uh, it's just the shunt that goes on the negative line that's all it is there and uh, yeah I think that's gonna be great never had anything like this I've always had just you know the voltage reader on those little 12 volt displays uh, this is a little more exact and I really like this idea I will be running these batteries in parallel again when I go with the solar panels those will be in parallel I will have these side side by side with my inverter almost on top there'll be a shelf the uh, Renogy inverter charger has to be mounted on a shelf facing up with the control panel. I don't know if any of you guys have those 3000 watt inverters. I know a lot of the guys have been talking about it on the Facebook groups that you can't wall mount them. You have to mount them facing upwards because they have a coil on the back and it can cause something to sag. I don't know the exact uh, reason, but uh, you look for videos, they're, uh, they're all over YouTube. So overall, this is the newest technology for deep cycle batteries from Renogy. Uh, I look forward to installing the system. Um, I will make a video I have about a week before I head out on vacation, so I need to get these batteries installed as quickly as possible, um, but I will make sure I film it and post a video for you guys. If you have any questions about these batteries, I will try and do a follow-up on these batteries either in three months, six months, or a year. Uh, I'll have a follow-up on these batteries so you guys can know what I think of them, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the, uh, in the comment section below, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. See you later.